Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Let's go. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. The 3v7 asymmetrical multiplayer shooter horror game. Not shooter. Multiplayer horror game. <laughs> The Dead by Daylight Killer. Uh, that's what we said about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And we saw how... Oh, wait, that's not it. But I believe it this time. I don't. I believe in Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is the gameplay trailer of Twist... Or, well, not Twisted Towers. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I'm so excited. Look at these clowns. I can't... This is incredible. Guys, if you're just listening on the Spotify, uh, basically what we're looking at is just this like insane Dead by Daylight style uh, where the killers are clowns and the death animations are absolutely like miraculous. Yeah, <laughs> it looks very goofy and, and uh, it definitely has a better feel th than um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre did. You know so I mean? Look like at him, look at him walking yeah. the little balloon dog. <laughs> It looks so goofy. <laughs> it's just over feel, the top, and I think that's why it's so funny and so fun looking. I think that's why it's gonna do better than Texas Chainsaw, because like yeah. Texas Chainsaw tried really hard to be scary. This yeah. try, this is just being exactly what a video game should be. It's just goofy. Fatality. That's what it reminds me of this part, <laughs> like this part right here. <laughs> reminds me of Mortal Kombat Fatality. Yeah. So, and it's cool in this one that you can fight back. And I think that's really interesting. So it's an asymmetrical game that you can fight back, which a lot of the times it's like you can't fight back as much. So, yeah. And when you, when you're looking at Dead by Day, like guys, again, if you're just looking at or listening on the Spotify, what we're seeing is like, um, you know, the survivors have good guns and stuff like that. And like Adam said, mm -hmm. you're able to fight back as a survivor, which is a thing that like you cannot do in Dead by Daylight. Like, yeah, you can throw down, you know, like, you could throw down the board or something, you know, like, and you could stun them with a flashlight and stuff like that. But this is like, it's, it's actually an opportunity where you as a survivor can fight back and like have mm -hmm. a definitive win point. And I yep. love that. Yep. And so essentially the, the premise of this game is it's based off of a movie, right? Like the killer clowns from outer space movie. It is 1000% based off of okay. a movie. Let's, and so, do you oh, have a trailer it? actually? Yeah, I can roll yeah. that trailer. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's, let's start from the beginning. So guys, if you guys uh, have not seen this movie at all, this is a classic uh, horror movie from 1988, uh, which is just so incredibly, like, I don't want to say it's cheesy, but it's almost like, it's almost like a comical <laughs> horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, the CGI back in the Look at the CGI. Guys, if you're just and listening, that's I was... And candy, right? Okay, yeah, now the... things are starting to connect for me with the yeah. what the game references and stuff. Oh okay, my goodness. Look at these guys. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost like the birth of like Tron, of like Tromo movies to me. Yeah. Like just such cheesy B-horror movies. <laughs> Look at that little clown. <laughs> it pops his head off, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. He pops yeah. His head. yeah. I love this part too. Uh, the, he does like the little, he's doing like the little shadow yeah, yeah. puppets. Oh, oh just, then he eats uh, the people. Just eat them. <laughs> no, no, no big deal. Delicious. But it's so funny, dude. Like, looking back at this era of like yeah. horror movies, like, they just don't make this stuff anymore. No, and you would never be scared nowadays if you saw this. You know what I mean? Like, you would never be scared of this ever. Yeah. Oh, there's the dog. The, little, yeah, there's the, the dog. dog. And the pizza. Yeah, That's he pops cool. out of the pizza box. Yeah. So, like, they're they're doing a really good job of, like, bringing in these movie elements to the yeah. game. The cotton candy yeah. gun. Yeah, the cotton candy gun. So <laughs> many references. Yeah. That's so cool. And they're, like... It's like, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good way to put this. It's like, it's a, it's a horror movie, but a horror movie that's like a, it's a comedy horror. Yeah. Is that a good way to put it? Yeah, I would yeah. agree. I, it's I, like I, I perfect it, for a game like this too. Yeah, you know it's I mean? perfect, perfect for a game like that. But yeah, so guys, it's going to be three killers, seven survivors trying to, uh, you know, eliminate 
basically what they're trying to do there is eliminate like the skill issue of mm-hmm. you know one person so in a game like dead by daylight um the the skill of the killer really kind of like dictates the match mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah and i think having the three different killers um is going to kind of eliminate that issue and i i, I think it's going to be very very cool and the one cool thing about having the seven survivors yeah um is that not every survivor is going to be a human person so okay when when you die if there's an npc survivor left you take that spot so it's not like oh cool i i actually really really like that because when you're in when you're in dbd and your character dies and you're just sitting there like watching the match it's super super boring yeah so i like the idea of having like an npc survivor that you can take over right right that's really cool so i wonder does it work if like so if they kill an npc like you still lose that life you know what i mean like there's like there's only so many lives left then for you to take over. Yeah, there's only so many lives. So if if the kill, if the clown killers end up killing an NPC, like if you die and the and there's an NPC left, you take over their spot. But yeah. if there's no NPC left, you don't get to take over the spot. That so it's makes not sense. like it's not like the killers will be at like such a ridiculous disadvantage. Yeah. But I do think it's cool to like keep the game going longer. Yeah, yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah. Kind of going off of it, so there's different classes of each clown, um, and this is from just like this the video that I watched. Um, five different classes for the clowns, and the three that were shown in like the gameplay trailer is Shorty, who's considered a fighter, so he likes to be up close and stuff. And that's that reference with where he punches <laughs> the dude's head off, so you'll see that in the trailer. Uh, Jumbo's the scout, and then Spikey's the tracker. So that's the one with the little clown puppy or the balloon doggy. So that's my dude all day. All give me day. That, give yeah. me that balloon dog. Yeah. And so, like, and then in the game, I thought this was really interesting. So there's AI clowns, and they're consi- I can't remember the name, what they're called. Um, but they, att- like, they're attracted to sounds that the, the survivors make. And so, like, like they that those clowns follow around like the the humans and like that helps the killers too. Yeah, like I like identify their locations. Yeah, like yeah, that. AI clowns. I don't remember yeah. what they're called. I'm guessing some weird name, but yeah, I like that. I mean, it, it it's cool. And the, the clowns, like, I think I think what's really cool is like part. So part of this movie is that the clowns want to capture you, but they want to mm-hmm. take you back to the mothership. So mm-hmm. like, I think you're there's going to be a lot of opportunities like in dbd like um i, I I'm, I'm jumping ahead let's let's go back a little bit further so adam mm-hmm. talked a lot about the cotton candy gun so yeah, yeah, one yeah. of the stupid things in this movie uh is that the killer clowns trap you in webs of cotton candy <laughs> and <laughs> you can think of the cotton candy cocoons were of what they were yeah. as like your dbd hooks right yeah so you're gonna be you know, you'll, you'll be captured, put in these cocoons. It's going to give other players uh, the option, much like running over to take you off the hook, to pull you out of these cotton candy cocoons. Yep. Stuff like that. Um, the, the really cool thing, though, is that in this kind of version, the survivors are able to infiltrate that mothership. Where oh, really? The, yeah, where the clowns are trying to take you back. Mm-hmm. So the survivors, if you work together, you can infiltrate the mothership and kind of like reverse engineer the ship to Im- like to like implode on the clowns. And you, that's like a way for the survivors to win the game. Yeah. And I love that there's an option for the survivors to win the game because we yeah. talked about this a lot with DVD and um and uh, Texas Chainsaw. There's yeah. really no option to like win it's just escape right you know what i mean so i I think like having an option to win as a survivor is very very cool and something that Mm -hmm. these games doesn't really do often yeah i was gonna say so i saw that you can so you can stop their invasion like you said or you can escape so like there's that option too and i think there's one other option but i can't remember what that i think it's something to do with like the beams of the rays that you see like and it look like generators if you shut those down yeah, I think that's like imploding the mothership. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's what those beams are. So to me, it looks like if you, if you as a survivor get all of those beams on the mothership, it's like it it like implodes the mothership, and okay. it's like an instant win for the survivors. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. pretty cool. I think it's, I think this would be pretty cool. 
I, I, when we, it took us a while to talk about this game because we talked about it, like we talked about talking about this game a while ago, but we didn't have much to go off of aside from the trailer. But seeing the gameplay, it makes it seem so much more fun than I thought this game was going to be. Yeah, it's, I, I honestly, I'm super excited for this game. I think it's going to be really, really cool. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And like for people that are kind of like over DVD, I think this is like a good like people were over DVD and then they were excited for Texas Chainsaw and then Texas Chainsaw was just trash. I think mm -hmm. like this will be a good jumping point from people that are like done with DVD but still like the genre and yeah. like that, you know, want to pl want to play with friends and like this kind of style and stuff like that. Yeah. I think this is going to be a great game for them. Yeah.